Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So my parcels are out. Look, packed with love from us to you. Um, if you remember, I took part in the Smashing the Specials in February, as if you could ever forget, because I think I just about mentioned it nearly every video that I do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it was run by uh, Brandy and Mindy. An extra bit of fluff for that. There were some special prizes on and one of the prizes was a $50 gift card for diamond painting with sparklers and I won one of the prizes. Yay! So this is my $50 worth of sparkly gems that I've got. So I thought you might like to look at them with me. Let's get them open. Look, I've been really, really good. This arrived yesterday and I've not opened it yet. So I'm dying to get into it and have a look. So if I start peeking at it, then I'll start getting them all out and they'll just go everywhere and I can't be doing with that. <laughs> I'm bad enough at spilling drills as it is. So it's a lovely packet. I do like the uh, blue spotty packet. Look, it's packed with love. That's gorgeous. So let's have a look and see what we've got. Oh, it's all in a little drawstring bag as well. So I'm going to keep that bag because I'm going to reuse it for something else. Um, I do send quite a lot of packages abroad and things, so I think that would be quite nice for a little present for somebody else. Okay. Oh, look at all these. Wow. Wow, look at all that sparkle coming through that little bag. Oh, um, I think it cost me $16 to get these posted to me. But I mean, when it's $50 worth of items, then I suppose $16 on top isn't too bad. Uh, and I don't mind paying for it. I mean, you know, it was a prize. It's wonderful. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look. So I've got Enjoy from Tina, who's the owner of the company there, written on the bottom. And I ordered two lots of Quad Q. Uh, I don't have any of them, so I thought I would give those a go. And I've ordered some Square AB drills and I've ordered the mini set. They do full sets, which I think are about $80. And I just thought, no, I'd sooner get a smaller set and we'll see how we go. So let's have a look at these. So we have a card, which is Diamond Painting with Sparklers. That's the company. And we've got all of the social media on the background there. I'll put the links down below. Um, it's Diamond Painting with Sparklers dpsparklers at gmail.com Tina Burney is the owner and uh, sparklewithtima.com as well there and we've got a Facebook group there as well I think uh, Tina has been doing a special on her Facebook group they've been having a competition I think this last month so it's always worth popping over there and having a look and it's shine bright with dp with sparklers so that's lovely like that should be keeping that card we have a sparkler sticker I do actually have already have one on my desk because I have had um, an order from Tina before uh, I believe it was my I got some sparklies but I also got some glow-in-the-dark black uh, drills as well which is what I did my Scotty dog with and I'm sure I got these from uh, Tina and uh, as I say they're glow-in-the-dark uh, round gems okay so let's have a look at these. Oh my goodness. Oh, look, we've got a sticker. Oh, look at that. It's a diamond. Oh, wow. That's fab. Yeah, it's a sticker and it looks like Tina's made it herself. And it's all squares. Wow. Let me look. Sorry, my eyesight's not brilliant. Yeah. So we've got small squares. So all the different colours are little square gems. And then the pinks are like quad cubes. And she's made that as a diamond. That is superb. Oh, I love that. That's going on my desk straight away. Let's uh, get this one. Oh, look at the back. Look at the back. Look at that. Oh, that's super. Oh, love it. Where shall we put it? Where shall we put it? Let's put it next to the sparkler sticker so we can see it. So that can go on my desk next to the sparkler sticker yay i'm getting quite a collection of stickers now like this oh look at these 
Wow, look at these. Okay, so these are my quad cubes. I thought the white and the black would probably be the best ones to get when I haven't got any others because they're more likely to mix in with my other colours. But look at that black. That is a real oil on water, isn't it? Blue and purple and green and all the different like gold and everything in those. So that's your little set of those. And then the white have got an iridescent coating, an AB coating, but they're like, they go pearly coloured. Oh. And the quad cubes are actually four square diamonds stuck together to just form one different uh, shaped, well, one different shaped, it's still a square, but one different gem. Just give you a different look on your painting. So yay, haven't got any of those. So look at all these colours, look at all these. Wow, so it's a sample set. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, hot pink, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oops. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, oh, let's put these up here, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, so I've got 30 different little packs of gems and they are all squares. I have no square ABs at all. I've got the crystal gems, but when I was uh, sorting out my gems previously um, and looking at my special drill storage, I realised I didn't have any square ABs and I do have a lot of square diamond paintings. And I thought, right, I'm going to get, seeing as I've got this prize, I'm going to treat myself and I'm going to get some squares. They all have the DMC number on, which is brilliant, which means I can put them into my storage and label them up properly. Uh, and I can possibly match them up with my rounds as well and get the proper numbers on my rounds. So I can get organised. Yay! Okay, let's have a look at these colours. So let's have a look at the greens. We have 701 green. We have 3818 green. I have 704 green which is one of my favourite greeny colours and then like an aqua green which is 3812 so that's our greeny sets there but these look really good there's no trash in these whatsoever and they're square those colours are superb oh can't wait to use these okay so that's greens there if you remember I did get my special little drawers uh, with 96, so would that be 48 bottles in the top? So I can get squares in the top and rounds in the bottom and get myself organised. So that's going to be my little tray to put them all in, to store them all, so that when I want one, I can just pull out my drawer. And because these are clear bottles, I'll be able to see the colours as well as having the numbers written on top. Oh, I'm going to be so organised. It's going to be unreal. <laughs> so, right, we've done green. So let's have a look at blues. So we have this lovely aqua blue. Look at that with the sparkle on there. And then we have a little bit deeper blue. Look at that. Oh, that's like a sea blue. That's when you go to like an exotic country and you've got that real exotic deep blue. Okay. And then we've got 820. I don't know if that's maybe a purpley blue. That's a slightly different colour. That's like a very pale baby blue. And then we have another pale blue. That may be grey then or a very light purple. I'm not 100% sure on all the colours. If you do want to know what colour um, an AB crystal is, an AB gem is, if you look on the bottom, then that is generally the colour of the actual drill. And then the coating is put over the top, which then changes the colour that little bit. OK, 
Okay, this is a lovely sample set though. We've got some really good different colours, uh, plenty to get me started and get me uh, on my journey. Woo! Oh, that's a different one. That's like a burgundy colour, but look how it's changed with putting the different uh, coating on it there, the AB coating. That's Aurora Borealis, which is Northern Lights Oil on Water kind of iridescent coating. That's what it stands for. And it just gives you that extra sparkle, just gives you a little bit of a different tone to your painting. Okay, we've got 310, which is one I always find is quite challenging to you. They're not challenging. It's quite different to use because it does give you a completely different colour really rather than just having your standard black particularly on outlines you do find really um you, you sort of get a greeny bluey outline and that doesn't always quite go sometimes you just need that definite black colour in a picture um it can it is the one that i find alters your picture the most so i use those carefully i think is probably the best word to use but they are still very very pretty and very very useful right so we have our 5200 white which i've used an awful lot and i have got a lot of these uh, but not in squares i've none of these in squares so now if i do any christmas paintings i've got a square one yeah Okay, we've got 712, which is like an oatmeal-y cream colour. keep having to remember that these are squares. I haven't actually got any of these. These are all um, new to me, new to me. <laughs> we've got a grey look. That's different. I've not seen that one before. Oh, that just makes that grey sparkle really well. Really gives a different dimension. That's going to look really good. If you've got a bit of a flat project, just putting that on, on a grey, is going to just make it sparkle. It's as you walk past them, you know, as they're on the wall, people just cast, cast, just get a glimpse of them at the corner of their eye. Wow, okay. So let's have a look at our pinks. So we have a nice baby pink. And we have a little bit deeper pink. And then another little pink there. I think there's possibly 500 in each of these bags. Um, I would have to check that out, but I know it was a good number. Um, and I just thought, yeah, that's enough to get me started and for what I'm likely to use. <gasps> and then a hot pink. Look at the hot pink. <gasps> Gosh, we could. I'm so pleased we've got a hot pink. We couldn't have not had a hot pink. <laughs> okay. And then let's have a look at our purpley colours, pinky purples. That's a real pinky purple colour. I think when I was younger, nearly every single um, little doll that I drew had one of the, a dress on of that colour. I really loved that colour when I was younger. And then that's uh, like your edging colour. A lot of pictures, particularly special real pictures, have that colour as like the edging to just make it shine. And a lovely, rich, like Palmer Violet purple. And then a paler, sort of lilac -y purple. Wow. Yeah, we've definitely got a really good range here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. And then oranges. We've got a very deep orange and pumpkin orange. And then a paler, peachy coloured orange. Excellent. Really pleased. And they're all in such all in such like, nice little bags it's a shame to put them into a jar but i am going to find it more useful putting them in a jar and i do find with all drills they will if they're in plastic and you're moving them from plastic to plastic bags particularly they do get a little bit staticky so putting them in the bottles will possibly make them a little bit less staticky and then our yellows look we've got like a nice bright sort of sunny yellow and then a bit more of a rich goldy yellow there ah oh wonderful and then our reds we've got our deep red and then like our cherry red and again you just get that greeny bluey hue to them just that little bit different and then a brown which again like the gray it's a color that can be a little bit flat depending on what it's with but by putting it an a b coating on it you just get that little bit of extra shine you can just about see it through the bag there. Yay! And then the quad cubes. Oh, love these. Really do love these. 
Right, okay, well, I think I'm going to sit and put these into numerical order and then I will start on my little tray. Uh, I'll start putting them into the bottles and get them all ordered. I'll probably do that on camera so that may come up in another video. But for now, this is uh, my little haul that I've got, which I absolutely love. So thank you to uh, Mindy and Brandy for organising the Smashing the Specials event. And thank you to Tina at uh, Diamond Painting with Sparklers for sponsoring the event and for giving the prizes. And I absolutely love my prize. It's uh, made me have the biggest smile on my face because I just love sparkle. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. If you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see me putting these into my storage and getting organised and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.